Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today I have something really, really special to share with you. I'm going to teach you how to make this adorable wishing ball necklace. It is just a tiny little orb of love and goodness. I'm going to teach you how to make it right now. For this project, you will need a wishing ball kit. Very tiny items like roses, glitter, tiny jewels, seashells, etc. E6000 glue, a split ring, 10 millimeters round, metal chain, and a toothpick. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to be working on our little ball. And I have found that using a ribbon spool is the perfect little stand to keep this nice and solid while I work on it. Now there are so many ways, it's so fun to decorate these little guys. I mean the tiny things that are out there on the market today are amazing. This is just a paper rose, just one of these tiny little paper roses and I just want to show you when you just pop it in like that, isn't that the cutest? So that's one thing that you could do that's super easy. They also have these tiny itty bitty little jewels and you can take these little jewels or glitter and place them in the little bottom like that. Isn't that beautiful? And then you just take like a tiny little rose and that's just like a little tiny ceramic rose that I found. And then my favorite is to do like a little mini beach scene. So what I'm gonna do is take my little little um, ball here and I'm just gonna put a little bit of white sand in. Now this sand, I love having this, um, this little uh, dispenser, I guess you would call it because it's got this tight little point here which makes it very easy to dispense just the right amount of sand. So you just put a little bit of sand in there, just enough to fill the bottom. And then I found these itty bitty, teeny, tiny, tiny little um, seashells. And let me put them in here. And I also found these tiny little starfish. So the little seashell and little starfish in there. Isn't that cute? And then, we're going to put the lid on it. Now, before we put the lid on, I just want to show you one thing. These are tiny. These are very, very tiny. And so this is why I'm going to be using one of these 10 millimeter split rings. And you don't have to use a 10 millimeter, but I find that the 10 millimeter is easier to open and see. So I'm just going to take the 10 millimeter split ring and I'm going to put it right through the top of that opening right there. And that's going to give me a much wider place and space to put my chain through. So I don't even have to worry about the fact that I've got a lobster claw here because my lobster claw will fit through there. But we're not going to put that on right now because we need to E6000 this. E6000 is an amazing glue. It's very thick and it's just, it's great because it doesn't drip down into the project because what you really don't want to do is get glue down into that beautiful little scene that you've set up. So I'm just going to take my toothpick and just take a little bit of this E6000 and what I want to do is spread it around the outer edges. As much around the outer edges as I possibly can here. Just around the outer edges. And try not to get it on the outer sides if you can help yourself. And you want, you don't need to do too much. You really only need enough to get it around those outer edges so that we can seal it up. So just put it right on top. You just go bloop, put it right on top like that. And then you want to let this dry for, oh, three, four hours, you know, until it's nice and solid and set up. And then once it's solid and once it's set up, then you just take your chain and string it on through. And then you've got yourself a beautiful little necklace like this. And there you have it your very own adorable wishing necklace. Remember, look in the notes down below for all of the links to all of the products that you'll need. For more great ideas, check us out at sophie-world.com and may all your wishes come true.